Good afternoon everybody. My name is Jody. My husband David John and I have a small farm in the Panhandle of North Idaho. These are our stories and adventures. So welcome to Moose Flats Farm. And as you see, we are out in the hoop house. We did get some more of the black gold soil. This time around it wasn't as good as the first two. It's like it was the end of the shift on Friday and they forgot to screen a bunch of the rocks out but they're little so it's it's gonna work it's not ideal but it's what I've got so I have gone through and got the brassica roots removed so the beds are relatively prepped and ready to have the soil added to them so because the, the wagon is out there, I have to do it in five gallon bucket trips. So I'm gonna dump some in, mix it, kind of gently mix it together with the fork, just because the top layer of the compost is not as decomposed with the shavings as I would like, and it kind of makes a dry barrier, and this soil has a tendency to dry out really fast or that's what I've been noticing out in the, the garden until you start getting some bio life in it. So I'm going to just add my buckets, lightly mix it up, and then we'll have to figure out how we want to do the soaker hoses in here. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So stop talking and let's get these beds filled up. So I got all the beds filled and amended and I did kind of on this first one go back over and throw a little extra because it was still a little low but on the areas where the carrots were or are as you saw on the time lapse I just added the soil behind the carrots and just kind of around the rosemary there but just behind the carrots and kind of this little spot right here because I don't want to go through and do that and really disturb the carrots because I still want them to come on and I didn't want to really disturb the rosemary or not rosemary the thyme plant and that is interesting it's a lot warmer down there where the black landscape fabric is and not as here where it's just the shade fabric hmm but before we get on to the irrigation I did get out here cleaned up 
went through, got it all weeded, <clears throat> got what landscape fabric had I had put down. Just need a chunk for there, a little chunk for there, and a little chunk from there, and that is a sad spot. <clears throat> So, the hardest part about having animals is when something happens. That little sad spot is not Kai, but Kai's sister. The, one of the little turkey pullets that I hatched out this year. I found her, she was in a nest box with one of the geese that are on a nest and I think what happened because I have been having a little fighting between the adult geese and the adult birds the adult birds get too close to the goslings or Lebrons or chicken not chicken bock throwback LeBron's or Shadow get something up there, something, and they get into a fight with one of the, the geese. I think what happened was she inadvertently got in between, and it looked like on her neck that she'd been grabbed by a goose and she was too tiny there's no way she could defend herself against an attack like that i'm sure it was a complete accident they were going after somebody else but she has since passed just makes me so sad uh, what's the answer do i separate them all keep them all have little pens for everybody it makes it no fun then but then unfortunately I have to deal with situations like this I don't know what's the best answer but I don't think I'm going to get to the putting the hokers the hoker the soaker hoses in tonight I think I'm gonna go down, figure out something for dinner. Be back with you guys tomorrow and we'll get these soaker hoses in and get these peppers planted. Okay, so now we're ready to lay the soaker hoses. I have, I'll show you. Because these are new soaker hoses and they have a tendency to wanna to stay curled up. I have laid them out on the ground in the sun just to help soften them up. I brought the peppers from the seed shed up. Now it's time to get all of that stuff worked into here. And we have found you can run about 150 feet on the soaker hose before you have to start and or stop and start another run before it just loses pressure and can't reach all the way to the end. And these beds are 25 feet long and I want to do a double on them so just gonna kind of play with laying it out and seeing what it looks like Okay guys, after a couple minutes of head scratching, figuring out how I was going to do this because how I originally planned wasn't going to work because I'd have no way to water that back bed. So let me show you what I came up with. 
So I'm using three complete 25 foot soaker hoses and then the tail end of one that was broken that I had to do a funky modification to make it work. But let me show you what I did. So over here is going to be where we plug the water in. And as you see, you've got your double row going down. It goes under the blocks. Right now just runs right behind the carrots there. Over here, I did wind up removing both of these boards and running the soaker hose underneath. Just like on the other side, it's running behind the carrots and then goes under that board there. And I have it snaked underneath the thyme plant. Magically comes back out, goes up here. And I have in a couple spots secured it just to keep it from shifting around too much. And then we go all the way up to this end where it just loops and heads back down the other direction. And I did here at this joint because it's two male parts and they don't thread in together. I have used a bunch of electrical tape just so I, because I was that much short of soaker hose. And on this end, I have folded it over and zip tied it and then secured it here so it shouldn't move around too much. Now comes the fun part of bringing all the peppers in, placing them. I am going to be planting the, the little onion starts that I have just to give them a chance. I'm going to plant them behind the carrots, so we'll see how far these peppers get. See how full we can get these beds with the peppers that I have left to get planted. Now that we've got the peppers and onions kind of laid out how I kind of want them and I did keep them by species together so it's like all the serranos are together all the jalapenos are together so I'll show you what I've got going on so we start over here we have our tam jalapenos and then we go to the early jalapenos and then we go to the sugar rush and then this whole bed is just the Mad Hatters and I've got my Walla Wallas back there and some bunching onions and then two little things of garlic chives and then I'm doing the red onions there and then I've got my pepperoncinis, the black Hungarians, the Anaheims, and then we go to the habanada, or haban, yeah, easy for me to say. And then orange spice, and then I just have two of the Jay's peach. And then cayenne long, banana, or did I have banana down there? No, that was pepperoncini. And then I'm going to finish off with the serranos. And as I'm going through, I will be pruning some of these back just a little, just to help make them a little bushier. But uh, peppers do like being planted kind of close together, so and I am staggering them. So, enough talking, let's get these guys planted.
Well, probably should have tested the soaker hose before I planted everything. The end of that brand new one just leaks like a sieve. And it only pushes pressure down to about there. So we'll have to do something with with that in because you can't really repair soaker hoses. So, but I have gone through and I have gone through and hand watered everything really well. The soil was a little drier than what I would have liked planting in them in. That's why I was hoping the soaker hose would be working now and could get it watered in. So I'm gonna figure out a fix for that and then I will do a light shavings covering over them just to because there is a bunch of open space just to keep weeds from wanting to pop up. So this is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you have a good day and a good week and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. So guys this is editor Jody realizing that I ended the video and I didn't show you what it looked like with everything all planted. I know you got to see part of it in the time lapse, but you stuck around this long, you want to see what it all looks like. So everything has been watered in really good. Got my little onions behind the carrots. And I have to say, not as impressed with, and I can't remember which one that is, but the sugar daddy carrot, or sugar daddy peas, those are these ones over here, that they have not been found by the pea weevil. They're struggling a little bit, but they're just putting on lots of peas. So that one I'm going to leave and hopefully be able to save some seeds because I don't have any other any more pea seeds. So hopefully I can get those guys to hold out long enough to be able to save some seeds so we can plant peas this fall. So this is honestly where I'm going to end the video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.